Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuckwagon MTG. Today we're going to be cracking open a booster box of the newest set, War of the Spark. I hope y'all's pre-release went amazing. Um, I hope you either had great pulls or just a really solid synergy, or if you were real lucky, you got them both. Um, I know that... Uh, I, I was quite happy. This was a really fun pre-release for me. Um, a lot of shenanigans to be had with these cards. So, anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Um, now, this is, I guess, kind of like my personal box, but we are going to be taking some cards or some packs out of this and doing some other stuff with it as well. Um, so, let's go ahead and put that right there. We'll go ahead and crack that there. That's probably loud as could be. I apologize. All right. We'll go ahead. You know, we're just going to start. We're not going to take them out of the box. We're just going to go ahead and blast through them. Now, I honestly, um, I haven't had a chance to look at prices here lately. I'm, I know the big ones, but I don't know about um, any of the... Um, like commons and uncommons. I know a couple that are like, you know, worth something, but uh all right, let's see. Uh bond of passion, no bond of insight, beacon, and hey, fine, the great creator right off the bat. Awesome sauce on that one. And you know what? I completely forgot. Wow. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, um I've got kids. I've got I've got a few kids. Um <laughs> I, uh, my youngest, um, doesn't play yet. He's only five, but of every set, I take two packs and I put them aside for him. So these are going to be his two packs. They're going to go into his, uh, what will hopefully be a chaos draft box someday. Um, he has a ridiculous amount of packs. I think we're well over 40 packs right now. Um, but yeah, so I forgot to do that. So our first one here is Karn. Um, and then I also forgot, we're also going to open some packs. Okay, we're going to go ahead and grab these three right out of the center. These are going to go into the uh, Patreon build a pack box. I am just all sorts of out of whack here today. So, all right, whatever is in these three packs is going to go into the build a pack box. So uh, let's see if we got any. No, no, no. All right, uh, Celebrant, not bad, Bolt Bend, hey, uh, this guy, I used him quite a bit at pre-release, he is pretty good, and Oath of Kaya, and we got a foil too, we got a foil, uh, nah, Nahiri's Stone Blades, well, look at that, all right, well, all this is going to go into that build a pack, build a pack box, wow, <laughs> um, and we're going to be opening more packs for that, um, I just wanted to get a couple out of this box uh, to get some more stuff in there because this is just such a fun set. All right, we got, uh, oh, this cat did work for me too. The Dread Melkin. Good stuff. Liliana's Triumph. This is another good one. Uh, we got Ying Yang Yanggu Wild Call. I think that's what it is. And hey, we get a Finale of Eternity. Look at that. A mythic rare going in there. Good stuff. The box is getting better. Alrighty. Skip, skip, skip. Well, that's right. We're going to see. I don't think there's anything. No. Alright. We got Paradise Druid. Dread Horde Twins. That one did some work. Hey, I Shock. That's another good one. Alright. And then we got a Dread Horde Arcanist. All right. Like I said, these are going to go into the Build-A-Pack box. We'll put them aside. <clears throat> and then we'll see what else we can open. All right. Back to the, the stuff. Like I said, this is my, my personal box. Uh... Okay, we can't go... We can't look at all the comments because if we do, we'll be here forever. No... Twins, hey, to Bolt, so excited to see him back. And then we got a Mizium tank. Oh, oh, I thought we had a foe, but it's not, it's a land. All righty. Grab another pack here. I'm going to try to do this quick for y'all so we're not doing a, 
you know, a 30 minute box opening. Uh, I try to avoid those, so. All right, we got uh -huh, Bond Teo. That guy's not too shabby. And then we got Single Combat. Oh, wrong pile here. All right, so far only one Mythic, and it's going to my uh, our patrons. So that's kind of nice. I want to know how y'all's pre-release went. Um, you know, good stuff, bad stuff. How'd you play? How'd you do? Uh, Tyrant Scorn, Bond of Flourishing, The Wanderer. Love this. And then we got a Dreadhorde Butcher. That's good stuff right there. I expect some good things out of that. All right. And also, what card are you guys looking to pull out of here? I know myself, um, the Pig God is the one that I am really... Oh, this guy was so good at pre-release. Make my giant zombie flying? Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, the Pig Boar, or the Pig God, is the one I'm really looking forward to. And we got a Vivian Champion of the Wilds and a Foil Elder Spell Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. Love that card. Good stuff. Yeah, there's a there is a deck that uh, I we will hopefully be putting out relatively soon. Um, I'm still not 100% confident on editing. I really haven't tried much for the deck tech things, but we'll get there. Uh, Vizier of the Scorpion, not bad. Tyrant Scorn, Bond of Flourishing, and we got a Gideon Blackblade, first mythic uh, for us at least. And then, oh, see, it, that messes me up. I always feel like there's a foil back there, and there just isn't. Aside from the Elder Spell, that was kind of nice. All right, let's hurry this up. Oh, yeah, we're already going on. Yeesh. Okay, speed it up, Chuck. We got the new art of Johnny's Pride Mat Mate. I'm a big fan of that. And this is Triumph, Ob Nixless, the Hate Twisted, and we got a Solar Blaze. All right. We got a Storm the Citadel, Heartwarming Redemption, Arlen, Voice of the Pack. Glad to see she's back. And then we got Command the Dread Horde. This did so much work for me at pre-release. I mean, just ridiculous amount. That is such a good card. Um, and what's best about it is I was able to use that in two different ways. I was able to essentially bring myself out of what looked like a losing situation and turn the game around. And I was able to take myself that uh, from what was a losing situation and deny my opponent the chance to actually kill me by using the Elder Spell to pull everything out of the graveyard and then killing myself. <laughs> we got a Cyclops Electromancer. We got a Mau Loyal Companion. That guy's pretty good. Price of Betrayal, another good one. And then we got a Sarkon, the Masterless. And then we did get a foil. This one is a Stealth Mission. All righty. Yeah, that Price of Betrayal is pretty good as well. Um, I think it will probably see, like, sideboard play uh, in Standard, if that. Um... I don't know. It's uh, I'm usually not that great at predicting uh, what's going to be what in the first part of Standard. Sunblade Angel, another Price of Betrayal, another Odd Nixless, and then we got a Tulsimir, Friend of Wolves, or Friend to Wolves. Wolf Tribal is going to be a thing. It's going to be fun. Let's see what we got in this next one. Do, do, do. All right, we got another Sunblade Angel. We got a 10th District Legionnaire, Akaya, Bane of the Dead, and then we got a Ravnica at War. All righty, moving along here. All right, yeah, we're not doing too bad on time now. And now they kind of sped things up a little bit. We got another one of those beautiful Johnny's Pride Mates, uh, Grateful Apparition. Huntley, the sun's heart, as I'm making a mess here. And then we got a plane-wide celebration. Oh, and then we got a foil balloon hulk. 
Alrighty. Um, this card, I mean, essentially I see this being more for EDH than anything else. Um, but tell you what, when that got dropped on you uh, at pre-release, that was, I mean, that, that's a bomb right there. You can, there's just so much you can do with it. All right, let's see what we got. We got a com or a Cruel Celebrant, Bond of Revival, Kiora, Behemoth, Beckoner, and then we got Awaken Awakening of V2 Gazi. I had this used on me. Let me tell you, this is not fun. Not fun. And then it's an instant, so um, my, uh, my opponent... Uh, both times he used it, actually used it at the end of my turn, uh, not on his turn, or, yeah, not on his turn, and, uh, and that way he was all able to do, like, pump spells and whatnot, too, so, yeah, kind of gross. Uh, we got Domri's Ambush, Bolt Bend, now, that is a beautiful card. I just love that. We got Narset, Parter Veils, and then we got a Spark Double. Uh, I'd say we're... A little over halfway through the box so far and we're at 12 minutes not too shabby all right we got a dis despark we got a prison realm elite guard mage and then we got a chandra fire artisan Right. We got Bleeding Edge, we got Elite Guild Mage, uh, Teo the Shield Mage, and Roll Reversal. Eesh, having issues here. <laughs> Alright, we got a Jace's Triumph, uh, Rescuer Sphinx, Angrath, Captain of Chaos, and then a Massacre Girl. Look at that. That thing's going places. That thing is going places. And I mainly know that because uh, of the amount of uh, Black Sun Zeniths that have suddenly been selling on TCG Player. <laughs> I know we had several for sale for a very long time and none of them ever sold. And all of a sudden, boom, they're all gone. Uh, we got Tabalt Rager. We got Dovin's Veto. Jaya, Venerated Fire Mage, and then we got a Karn's Bastion. That's fun right there. Four mana proliferate, don't mind if I do. And I think, I think that's part of what makes that so good. They could have made that like six in proliferate, which would have definitely bumped down how good it is, but the fact that you can do it for four, that's pretty good. We got Augur of Bolas, we got Ugin's Construct, uh, Kazmina, Ig Enigmatic Mentor, and then we got Casualties of War. I think I just bumped the camera. If I did, I apologize. Alright, let's see what other stuff we can get. We only got two Mythics so far, so we are kind of due. We got Rubble Belt Rioters, uh, Invade the City, Liliana's Triumph, and then a Johnny. The Great Hearted, and we did get a foil. It is a Divine Arrow. All right. All right. And then starting next week, we're going to start doing uh, our our patron openings. We've got I've got y'all's box sitting here next to me, ready to be cracked open. All the good stuff inside. We get another Augur of Bolas, Rowl's Outburst, Rescuer, Sphinx, and Domri, Anarch of Bolas. Last stack here. Well, so far, we're not doing so hot. <laughs> we still got packs to go, though. All right, we got another Death Sprout, Invade the City. Narset, Parter Veils, and we got Ignite, the Beacon, and then a Foil, Angrath, Captain of Chaos. Well, alrighty then. Kind of like that. Alright, what do we got here? We have got Mayhem Devil, Fox Channeler, Kaya, Bane of the Dead, and then we got another Elder Spell, but that one's not Foil. Alrighty. 
we got another Prison Realm, Mayhem Devil, Flux Channeler, and then Teferi. Time Rider. That's not too bad. Teferi's kind of good. Although I will say, compare him to the old Teferi art, he got really gray. Whatever happened, it has not been kind to him. He did not handle it well. He probably just had kids. That's probably what happened. <laughs> All right. We got Jace's Triumph. We've got Grateful Apparition. We've got Dovin, Hand of the Council. And then we got a Mobilized District. All right, come on. One Pig God. That's all I want. Actually, no, I want four. That would be amazing. But I just don't see that happening. Oh, wrong pile, wrong pile. We got Bond of Insight, Interplanar Beacon, Nahari Storm of Stone, and then we got Narset's Reversal. All right, only a few packs left here. My dream of opening the Pig God is dwindling. We got Evolution Sage. That's actually, that's a pretty good card. We've got uh, Lazatep Plating, Sahili, Sublime Artificer, and then we got Finale of Devastation. While I'm happy to pull this, this is, <laughs> this is like my third or fourth one. <laughs> uh, I actually opened up one day one uh, in, uh, in my pool, and it went immediately into my uh, EDH deck. I just need to find a foil to replace that. And, oh, did we get a foil? I think we did. All right, we got a Merfolk Skydiver. Lazatep Plating. Vraska Swarms Eminence. And then we got a Time Wipe and a Bond of Flourishing. All right, two packs, three packs left, three packs left. All right, skip, skip, skip. We got Domri's Ambush, Dovin's Veto, another Ashiok, and another Mobilized District. Two packs. Come on, Pig God. All right, we got D Spark, uh, Mau Loyal Companion. Another wild crafter, and then we got oh, silent submarine. I just I don't understand this card. It's like it's smuggler's copter, but so much worse. It's like I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they felt bad and wanted to remake it. I don't know. Actually, no, smuggler's copter was crew one, wasn't it? Oh well. All right, last pack. We got Storm of the Citadel. We got Rally of the Wings. We got Samet Tyrant Smasher. And we got a Rolesque or Rolesque Apex Hybrid. And then we get a foil. We got a Soren's Thirst as a foil. All right. Well, um, I'm not going to say this box was busted by any means. Um, but I, you know, I, I'm happy. I think I'm happy. Um, cause I know Gideon is kind of up there a little bit. The elder spell, I really don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and scoot this stuff aside and we'll kind of recap what we got here. Uh, we did get that mythic, uh, time wipe seems fun. Finale of devastation. That thing is just nuts. Uh, Narciss reversal. We did get a Teferi, um, and elder, I don't even know what the elder spells at, but I like it. So, um, I, I probably should have um, checked out prices <laughs> before this video, but you know what? Um, I'm just I'm enjoying the fun of this set and uh, the opening up. So good. Um, I love cracking packs, and this is a fun set to do that with. Um, and then oh, you know what? We did get four mythics uh, because we got the uh, the mythic that went into the uh, the build a pack box so oh and then i forgot we did get our foils um uh soren's thirst bond of flourishing Angrath. that's kind of nice that's kind of nice uh divine arrow bloom hulk 
stealth mission, and I'm not even in f the center of the camera. And then uh, we did get a foil, uh, the Elder Spell, and that is just... You know what? My camera does not do it justice, but that's a beautiful thing. Um, all right, well, on to our next bit. Um, you know what? I forgot to save a pack for that. All right, so we're going to have to break into the next box. Don't worry, I have multiple. Um, we're giving away a pack. So, you know what? Hey, that's what we're going to do. We'll go ahead and we will, uh, we will pick a winner for the pack, and then we'll open a couple more packs for the Patreon Build-A-Pack box. That's what we're going to do. All right. So, there we go. So, let's take these top three. One, two, and three. We're going to crack these open right now. And whatever's in these is going to go in that Patreon Build-A-Pack box. Uh, we're still under half an hour, so I think we're doing good. All right, we got Cruel, Celebrant, uh, Lezatop Plating, Sahili, that's not too shabby, and then we got a Solar Blaze. Now, if you're interested in becoming a patron, patron or just learning how you can get some of these wonderful cards we're opening, go down to the description, and we've got a link to our Patreon page. You can check out our prices and all that. I think you'll find out our tiers are exceptionally fair, and you get a lot of value for it. So... All right, we got a Huntley's Raptor, we got a Bond of Flourishing, Akaya, Bane of the Dead, and then a Dead Dreadhorde Invasion. That's a good card. That, uh, yeah, uh, I did some work with that at one of my pre-release events. All right, last pack. Let's skip through here. Oh, nope, I put those in the wrong pile. All right, I'll figure that out later. <laughs> Um, we got a Merfolk, Skydiver, uh, Bonds of Insight, Teyu, and then we got a Tosimer Friend to Wolves. You know what? No real big hitch right there, so we're going to grab one more pack. One more pack. Patreon build a pack box. Here we come. This is going to be the good one. All right, we got Eternal Skylord, Pledge of Unity, Obnixilis, and Spark Double. Well, I mean, it could be worse, I guess. Alrighty. Well, we're going to put all this stuff aside. It's going to go into the Patreon Build-A-Pack box. Now, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut on over uh, to one of my favorite sites. We've got Wheel Decide. Love this site. Everyone commented on last week's video. Uh, your name has been put into this. We're going to go over to random.org. We're going to go rel roll two six-sided dice. All right, we got 11. So we're going to click the wheel 11 times, and then whoever comes up uh, after that is going to... We're going to crack a pack open for you here right now. All right, good luck to everyone that's involved. We got once, twice, thrice, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, and 11. Congratulations to... Ulysses! Congratulations! We'll go ahead and grab you a pack out of here. I think you won last month? Month before that something? I think. I, I could be wrong. Anyways, you're going to go ahead and get the rare foil mythic stuff out of this particular pack. And thank you very much uh, for watching and commenting and just all around participating in the videos. Thank you very much. All right. Bond, Gleaming Overseer, Samet. And then you got a Dread Horde Butcher. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that up right now. Remember, you've got 30 days to claim it, but Ulysses tends to comment a lot of the videos. Uh, I think I think he's a regular watcher, so I have no doubt that he is going to claim this. Um, unlike a lot of our other prizes, um, the commander trays, um, we're going to be... I'm going to give them 30 days from the last email we sent out. Um, but, I mean, 
we sent out two emails and announced it on here and still nothing so uh, alrighty so that is your card Ulysses congratulations um, I think that's about it yeah about wraps it up here um, if you like what you saw do us a huge favor click that like button <laughs> be sure to hit subscribe and the bell notification button so you can tell we have new stuff coming out and then share this with your friends your family your loved ones and your pets everyone could use a little more magic in their lives once again thank you very much for watching and as always you can find us on facebook and twitter chuckwagon mtg